The movie starts with Jimmy Conlon lying on the ground in a thick jungle, holding his stomach where he's been shot. Through his painful sounds, we hear his inner thoughts reflecting on how when you're facing death, your life doesn't flash before your eyes. Instead, it's filled with regrets and mistakes. In the background, amidst the trees and bushes, Jimmy's son Mike is seen moving quickly amid gunfire, giving a feeling that this scene has happened before. Suddenly, the story shifts back to 16 hours earlier. Now we see Jimmy, looking messy and drunk, in a poorly lit bar. As he wakes up from his drunken state, the people in the bar make fun of him, adding to the messiness of his life. Wanting to connect with a guy named Danny, Jimmy tries to navigate through his drunkenness. He goes to an office where he sees Danny. He is the son of Sean, someone Jimmy trusts. In a touching moment, Jimmy, feeling desperate yet humble, asks Danny for a loan of $800, showing how tough his situation is. It's revealed that Jimmy used to work for Sean back when Sean was a mob leader. Sean is the only person who still cares about Jimmy, as everyone else, including his own family, has turned their backs on him. When Jimmy arrives at Danny's office, he witnesses two policemen accepting a bribe from Danny. Jimmy observes this from outside but remains silent. Then, he asks Danny for the loan he needs, but Danny becomes frustrated, questioning why his father still associates with Jimmy. Instead of granting the loan outright, Danny proposes an alternative. He offers Jimmy a job as Santa Claus at the party in his house in exchange for the money. Jimmy reluctantly agrees to Danny's offer because he's in desperate need of the money, despite feeling uneasy about the situation. Later, Danny meets with his father, Sean, along with a group of Albanian criminals to discuss a potential business deal involving the sale of goods. The leader of the Albanian group proposes a deal and tells Sean that they'll pay him $200 million up front and 20% of the product's profits in exchange for permission to transport their goods through Sean's territory via the port. However, Sean, now focused on his legitimate business endeavors, shows little interest in the proposal and declines to authorize the sale of Albanian goods in his region. He explains that he's moved on from his past criminal activities and is now a professional businessman. Disappointed by Sean's refusal, the Albanian criminals demand that Danny return the money they spent to arrange the meeting and negotiate with Sean. With a substantial amount of money involved, they give Danny until the next day to return it and threaten dire consequences if he fails to do so. After the Albanians depart, Danny returns to his father, and the two engage in a heated argument. Despite Danny's pleas for help, Sean insists that Danny handle the situation on his own and leaves him to deal with the consequences of his actions. Meanwhile, we get a glimpse into Jimmy's life with his son, Mike. Mike works as a limo driver and is also a skilled boxer who dedicates his time to helping kids at the local gym. Despite being his son, Mike is fed up with Jimmy's troubled past as a hitman and refuses to acknowledge him as his father or spend time with him. He actively tries to keep his family away from Jimmy's influence. We then see Mike training in a boxing gym with one of his students named Legs filming his workout. After the training session, Mike gets hired to drive two clients, one of whom turns out to be one of the Albanian criminals from the earlier scene at Sean's place. These criminals ask Mike to accompany them to Danny's house. Upon arrival, tensions escalate when the Albanian criminals are duped with fake money by Danny. This leads to a shootout, during which Danny manages to kill one of the gangsters. Another tries to flee, but Danny pursues and fatally shoots him outside the house. Mike, who was waiting in the car, witnesses the entire incident, and so does Legs, who unintentionally captures the shooting on his video camera. Seeing Mike in the car, Danny approaches him with a revolver in hand, but luckily, Legs manages to hide before Danny notices him. Danny then forces Mike to accompany him to his house with the intention of killing him to eliminate a witness to the earlier events. However, Mike reacts quickly and eventually manages to escape. Now, Danny and his accomplices chase him, but Mike evades them by jumping over a fence. However, despite Mike's escape, Danny seizes the opportunity to steal Mike's wallet, obtaining his personal information and home address in the process. Mike immediately calls his wife, who is currently at his sister-in-law's house, urging her to stay put and not return home for safety reasons. Meanwhile, Jimmy gets to know about the situation. Aware of the danger Mike is in, Jimmy rushes to his son's house and acts on Sean's orders. He pleads with him not to involve the police. However, 
Mike's resentment towards his father is still strong, and he refuses to let Jimmy enter his house. Ignoring his son's objections, Jimmy breaks into the house and tries to persuade Mike to follow Sean's directives, emphasizing that it's for the sake of their safety and the safety of Mike's family, as Jimmy doesn't want them all to suffer harm. Despite his father's pleas, Mike remains determined to report Danny to the authorities. As Jimmy decides to leave the house, he notices Danny's car parked nearby and senses trouble. He quickly rushes back inside, only to find Danny threatening Mike's life with a gun pointed at him. Without hesitation, Jimmy takes action and ends Danny's life by shooting him. After this, Jimmy gets worried and contacts Sean to break the news, explaining that he had no other choice as Danny was about to kill Mike. Upon hearing this devastating news, Sean is overcome with grief and decides to keep it a secret from his wife. He grimly informs Jimmy that now both he and Mike are marked for death. This news rattles Mike, who in a state of panic, tries to call the police. However, Jimmy intervenes, knowing that involving the authorities would only escalate the situation further. Despite this, Mike kicks his father out of the house, feeling betrayed and deeply troubled by the situation. Now, Mike feels desperate to seek help, and eventually dials 911. He informs the dispatcher about his father's actions, reporting that a man has been shot and killed inside the house. Meanwhile, Sean shares the tragic news of their son's death with his wife, and they both break down in tears together in the bathroom. After this, Sean orders some of his men to go to Mike's house. These men, who happen to be corrupt police officers, take Mike into custody, accusing him of a crime. Meanwhile, Jimmy sees this happen outside his son's home. Recognizing the corrupt officers from the previous encounter, Jimmy decides to follow them. He causes a crash that allows him to rescue Mike from the wreckage, incapacitating one of the officers in the process. After this, Jimmy and Mike then flee from the scene together. However, Sean isn't done yet. He orders his henchmen, led by a guy named Frank, to hunt down and eliminate both Mike and Jimmy. Sean's men track them down to the subway, where a fight breaks out. Mike gets stopped by someone he owes money to. But things quickly escalate when a henchman appears and starts attacking Jimmy. Despite Mike's attempts to flee, he gets noticed by another henchman. In the midst of this chaos, Jimmy finds himself locked in a struggle with Frank. In a desperate move, Jimmy manages to overpower Frank and ends up strangling him with a piece of cloth. Eventually, Jimmy and his son manage to escape on the subway. Meanwhile, Sean instructs his henchman to frame Mike for the murder of his son by planting evidence at Danny's house. He also orders them to place the bodies of the Albanian criminals in Mike's vehicle, making him the prime suspect in the eyes of the law. After this, Sean mobilizes all his resources, sending his men across the country to track down Jimmy and Mike. As the situation escalates, Mike's wife, Gabrielle, watches in horror as a live news broadcast identifies Mike and Jimmy as suspects in the murders, sparking a nationwide manhunt. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Jimmy urges Mike to take his family and go into hiding until he can make contact again. He then reaches out to Detective Harding, a police investigator who has been unable to connect Jimmy to the deaths of the Albanian criminals. Harding reveals that eyewitnesses have implicated Mike, not Danny, as the shooter. In a bold move, Jimmy strikes a deal with Harding and agrees to provide evidence to clear Mike's name in exchange for immunity for his past crimes. Later, Jimmy confronts Sean, expressing his regret and pleading for Mike to be spared from their conflict. However, Sean remains unmoved, asserting his right to seek revenge. Now, finding no other way, Jimmy reveals Danny's intentions to kill Mike and threatens to expose Sean's criminal past to the authorities. But Sean, seemingly unfazed by Jimmy's warnings, ignores the threat, confident that the police won't pursue Jimmy's accusations. Meanwhile, while fearing for Mike's family's safety, Jimmy rushes to their house and swiftly arranges for them to relocate to a safer location. Now, with his loved ones out of harm's way, Jimmy and Mike embark on a mission to obtain evidence that will clear Mike's name from the false accusations. Their first stop is Legg's apartment, where they hope to retrieve the footage of Danny committing a murder. However, their plans take a turn when they are spotted by a resident who recognizes them as fugitives and promptly notifies the police. As law enforcement arrives to evacuate the residents, Andrew Price, a skilled assassin hired by Sean, 
makes his presence known by cutting off the power to the building. In the chaos that ensues, Jimmy and Mike blend in with the other tenants, taking advantage of the confusion caused by a fire that breaks out. However, Price, equipped with night vision goggles, manages to track down Jimmy and Mike in the darkness, escalating the tension of their desperate situation. Seeing this, Jimmy instructs his son to flee while he stays behind to confront the hitman. Making his way downstairs via the balcony, Jimmy engages in a fierce struggle with the assassin. In a critical moment, Mike reappears and aims a gun at the hitman's head, but Jimmy urges him not to pull the trigger, warning of the consequences. As the police arrive, Jimmy and Mike manage to escape capture once again. However, just as they are about to make their getaway, Price fires a shot, gravely injuring Jimmy's hand. Seeking a safe place to hide, Jimmy and Mike seek shelter at the home of Jimmy's brother, Eddie. Despite being family, Eddie harbors no pride in Jimmy's past actions. He reveals to Mike that Jimmy once worked for Sean, and even killed his own cousin to protect Sean's interests, suggesting that Jimmy might do the same to Mike. Shocked and disillusioned by this revelation, Mike decides to return home to his family. Meanwhile, in a final attempt to end the conflict, Jimmy calls Sean once more, pleading with him to cease his pursuit of Mike and their family, and warning of dire consequences if he continues. However, Sean dismisses Jimmy's threat and hangs up, signaling a continuation of the deadly feud. However, by the time he hung up the phone, Jimmy had reached Sean's hideout, and he was prepared to take matters into his own hands. Without hesitation, he eliminates Sean's henchmen one by one, until finally confronting Sean himself, putting an end to their long-standing conflict with a fatal blow. Meanwhile, Legs rushes to the police station, determined to make things right. He seeks out Detective Harding and hands over the crucial footage depicting Danny's heinous act of murder. Harding verifies the authenticity of the video by examining the ballistic evidence from the scene. As the dust begins to settle, Mike finds solace with his family in an isolated cabin. Feeling compelled to set things straight, he contacts Detective Harding and discloses his whereabouts, opting to turn himself in. Shortly thereafter, Jimmy pays a visit to Mike and his family, bearing news of Sean's demise and the end of their ordeal. With a sense of relief washing over them, Mike and his loved ones can finally look forward to a peaceful existence. And in a heartwarming moment, Jimmy is introduced to his granddaughters for the first time, marking a new chapter of reconciliation and family unity. Meanwhile, we see Price again. Despite being gravely wounded, the hitman manages to track down Mike and his family at the cabin. To fulfill his mission, he launches a vicious attack, injuring Jimmy severely before chasing after Mike and his loved ones. In a tense moment, Jimmy sacrifices himself to save his son. During the struggle, Jimmy manages to get rid of the hitman, ultimately ending Price's threat. This is the scene from the beginning of the movie, where we see Jimmy fatally wounded and taking his last breaths on the ground. As the police arrive on the scene, Detective Harding delivers a crucial piece of evidence. He shows the footage proving Mike's innocence in the murders attributed to him. Now, with the charges against Mike dropped, he is finally vindicated. However, the victory is bittersweet as Jimmy takes his last breath, clutching a list of his past victims. Though their relationship is strained, Mike is overcome with sadness at his father's passing, realizing that in the end, Jimmy had given everything to protect him and his family. In the aftermath, Mike returns to his roles as a boxing coach and a driver, finding solace and happiness with his wife and daughters. Each day, as he prepares for work, Mike gazes at a photo of himself with his father cherishing the memories of their complicated yet deeply meaningful bond. This is where the movie ends. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more movies like this.